Hi everyone, this is Jamela over at Viva La Vintage for Your Home. Thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Living the Lifestyle of the Thrift and Famous. I would love for you to join the Thrift Squad, so go ahead and click that subscribe button and you'll get all the videos and be inspired on how you can decorate your home on a budget. Today's episode is the fifth and final episode of how I saved thousands of dollars while thrifting my house into a home. You know, it really wasn't until I started doing this series is when I really uh, realized exactly how much I was truly saving by thrifting my house and finding objects that on a whim that I didn't think I would like. So I hope this encouraged you to continue to thrift your house into a home and also buy the things that you really love because you really are saving in the end. So let's jump right into this final episode. In the previous episode, I did talk about my savings on the bar cabinet, but I wanted something different to go over the cabinet. And when I spotted this um, mirror on the Facebook marketplace for just $20, I jumped on it. I liked the look that it gave over the cabinet and I wanted something different because the piece of art that was hanging over it, I had had it for a while and just wanted something different. And then once I painted the walls the dark green color, it really popped against that wall and I loved it even more. So I did spot one of these mirrors online for $612 on sale, but my savings was tremendous on this piece. Again, it's all about mixing styles, patterns, and eras of furniture for me. And also, you know, uh, textured vases are also the big thing now. And I spotted this Hager vase for just $20 and this is a vintage Hager vase and I'm glad I bought it because it gave me that I was able to cut this little branch from my fall look for the bar cabinet and it was perfect a nice little subtle touch that it needed and I don't do pumpkins on my decor so I'm just going to say that this vase was exactly what I needed and textured vases now are going in the range from $60 to roughly $300 so this was a great deal and if you spotted the red planter there on a cabinet I wanted something with a little less bold of color so I went out and I found this Aura Fours crystal bowl and this was only two dollars I love the faceted cut on this bowl and it just sits so pretty and all the colors just come through it I really do have an appreciation for crystal so I just moved that onto the bar cabinet the plant was overgrowing so it needed to be moved and it was taking up the space so this kind of gave it a more a clearer space and you can see everything that I have on there so this is the fall look that I have for the cabinet right now so for under $25 I have a new look on the bar cabinet now Aura Fours online are selling for roughly $225 you might can look up and find one for sale on Poshmark or Macari sites as that they're selling for about maybe 50 or 60 dollars but this is another Aura Force glass crystal bowl that I bought when I bought that one for just two dollars as well I really loved crystal bowls nothing compares to the faceted colors that you see when you put them in the light and how the fire of all the colors just come through many people are not really getting into crystal these days but there's nothing like the timeless quality piece of good crystal and you can find them so much cheaper now but it's it's just really um amazing the color and when once you use crystal glass is a whole different entity did spot another aura fours online for 35 dollars, but that was a smaller bowl mine is a seven inch and it's running for about 250 dollars. and staying on the subject of glassware keep your eye on the empoli mid-century um, decanter that I have on the bar cart now this decanter I've had for quite a few years and I paid $25 for that but online this is selling for $700 another huge savings that I bought for something that I liked and didn't know where to put it but now I have a place for it and then I spotted the Blanco amber glass mid-century um, decanter on dressing rooms interior site and I loved it and I paid $75 for that it was the perfect touch I needed on top of the etagere as I was styling my colored glass that was the most I've ever paid for a decanter but believe me I am totally thrilled with my with my purchase because it was a rare find 
And then when I look online and saw that they're selling for about $300, I'm glad I made that choice. And I paired it with some other decanters. This was another amber one I paid $1 for. And then the other small ones I paid roughly 5 and $7 for. But you can buy sets of these online, but they're very expensive, ranging from $450. But you can also find some as little as $80 or $90. And moving on to the fashion accessories of the home, which are pillows. I found this Chiang Ming dragon print fabric for free at a fabric store in the remnants pile. Now mind you, I have been eyeing this fabric for a very long time ever since I spotted it on one of the designer sites, but those pillow covers are very expensive. So when I found that fabric in that pile, I just couldn't believe my eye. And before I took it out that store, I made sure I said, are you sure this is free? And she said, yes, ma'am. So look at how much I saved just for this cover was a hundred dollars. And if you go onto the designer sites, a pair of them are selling for $450. And then I went into a restore habitat and I found this Kravit fabric on sale, the graphic print. And I fell in love with that as well. Now that whole bolt of fabric was about $10. So out of that one bolt of fabric, I got three pillows made. And not a bad saving since one cover costs $60 on this designer site. Now everything thrifted doesn't have to be a decor piece. Case in point, I got this breakfast tray for just $2. I figured it would come in handy when my mother was sick. Um, we could serve her breakfast in bed or food in bed and she'd have something to uh, eat on. But um, anyway, I did buy this for just $2. It was in perfect condition. And when I started looking at how much rattan breakfast trays cost, I was blown away because that was a significant savings and over something that I just bought just to have around the house just in case if needed but um anyway and then moving on to what else i saved is on light fixtures i bought this chandelier it's a brass antique chandelier for 25 dollars at an auction in town years ago and once i cleaned it up it became a sparkling showpiece in the bathroom but overall i'm so glad i bought this because they're selling online between 450 dollars and 495 dollars for these antique pieces with the crystals well, everyone, I hope this has inspired you to um, do more searching for items to decorate your home with on the secondary market. Now, mind you, I could go on about uh, more of the savings, but I think I'm going to wrap this up because um, I am very well aware of how much I save and you too can save the same amount of money. And just remember to be inspired to live the lifestyle of the thrift and famous. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, Go ahead and click that like button, drop me a comment, and don't forget to share. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.